And now to our coverage on the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Fort Myers Beach residents and business owners have been allowed to survey the damage left behind for the first time. Some areas still facing flooding threats nearly two weeks after the storm ripped through southwest Florida. Now, despite the ongoing relief efforts, some communities in Lee County say they're being forgotten. Yeah, the residents say their federal response has been lacking. CBS 4's Terry Hornstein, she's live in Miami Gardens with how South Florida is lending a helping hand. Terry? Hey, good morning. You know, people here in South Florida more than willing to give back. Of course, knowing this could have been us, could have happened right here at home. So let's talk about this Harlem Heights community. Take a look. I want to show you some video. You can really see uh, this area just ravaged by Hurricane Ian. A lot of people there talking about this, saying it was left a mess. Representatives from the NAACP in Lee County reached out to the city of Miami Gardens, saying they needed help in their African-American communities, help they really just weren't getting. The people of Miami Gardens decided to step in and send food and water and other items to this community in need. Harlem Heights, a minority community, many call disenfranchised, very much in need of that help. The people who live there say since Hurricane Ian, they feel forgotten. My patience is gone. People in my community, they lost everything. I don't have to live on Sanibel or Fort Myers Beach to be one of the people that they care about. Because to me, that feat seems like that's all they care about at this point. So this packed truck you see behind me will head out in just about two and a half hours. We'll head there, we'll deliver water and hot meals to this community. We're live in Miami Gardens, Terry Hornstein, CBS4 This Morning.